There is something really interesting going on in the cryptocurrency space at the moment. Bitcoin has been in this holding pattern between 27 and $31,000. And I notice it keeps dropping and it keeps dropping. I feel that Bitcoin is in a death spiral. Now I know all of the crypto bros are gonna come after me. Buy on the dip, buy on the dip, buy on the dip. Get it while it's cheap, right? I, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you and I'm gonna explain to you why 99% of all cryptos are going to go to zero. And this will be stuff that you cannot refute with emotion. You're gonna to try to refute it with emotion because you're emotionally attached to cryptocurrency. You're not emotionally attached to how to really make money. This video was brought to you by B-School for Hustlers, where I'm introducing my new training curriculum, Intellectual Property School, to teach you exactly what I do. How to write books, how to create YouTube channels, how to create podcasts, how to create an online course. This activity has made me millions of dollars since I've been on YouTube, and I'm gonna teach you how to do it step by step. More importantly, I'm gonna teach you how to make money with a very small YouTube channel. Now, let's go ahead and just get this out the way. You're not gonna make the kind of money that I make because you don't have my level of business acumen yet. Now, some of you will go on to make more money than I've ever made because you're gonna have a unique personality, you're gonna have the right product, you're gonna have the right offer. But realistically, and let's talk about this, you're not gonna make money instantly with content creation, it's just not. So you're looking at a six to 12 month journey where you're gonna make between five and $15,000 per month. I feel that that is safe enough to say because typically, I will give you an example. One of my disruptive mail channels, which only has 7,000 subscribers, was consistently making $15,000 per month. And I'm gonna teach you how to set up your channel. I'm gonna teach you how to identify your niche. I'm gonna teach you how, because once again, you cannot put up a channel talking about how to pet cats or something stupid like that. That's not gonna work. You're gonna have to position your channel in the proper niche to make money. Now, uh, a lot of people will want to come to my niche, the business niche or the personal finance niche. But I've got 20 year, 23 years of experience in business and 23 years of experience with personal finance. So it's going to be kind of hard to compete with me. But there are other niches that you can get into and make a lot of money. And we will explore those niches during the training. I'm going to teach you how to set up a small YouTube channel. I'm going to teach you how to set up a podcast, teach you how to write a book and teach you how to create an online course. All of that is below. Go hit the links below and get 65% off on this pre-lunch. Once again, get 65% off during this pre-lunch. And I've got some more offers that I'm gonna probably put in here. And everyone who signs up for the pre-lunch gets access to Home Economics, my foundational money management course that will literally change your personal finances like you've never seen below. Go below, enroll in home economics today. All right, so guys, this is one of the things that you really need to position yourself for. All right, Terra Luna recently went to zero a few weeks ago. And I feel that what's gonna happen is many of these crypto projects are gonna follow suit because they're not based upon anything. Uh, one of the situations that I consistently see is people are trying to rent seek. They're, they're, um, here's the, here's my foundational thesis why most crypto is going to go to zero. It is not based on anything. And every time you bring up this argument, people tell you the cost of electricity, or there are uh, foundational things that it does like NFTs and all of that is just bullshit because and then people would make the same argument that the fiat currency in you know, this dollar ain't based upon nothing. And I would say it is very different because you can only get US dollars from the US government. That's the only place. With crypto, if I wanted to, I can come up with a project 
and start creating my own cryptocurrency from home. See, that's the problem. Literally, anyone can create a crypto project. Anybody. And that's why most of them are gonna fall apart. Whenever you have something that literally your mama, your daddy, your sister, your pet turtle, they can all get in on it, it's gonna collapse. It's just gonna collapse. To me, in many regards, it's just a giant Ponzi scheme. It is um, untenable. And I see what we're going to see is cryptocurrency by cryptocurrency literally collapse. And what's going to happen, because this is one of the things I am the only YouTuber that is saying, do not buy cryptocurrency. And everyone's like, hey, I got a little money invested in crypto because I don't want to miss it in case it booms. And I feel like personally, I have no money in cryptocurrency. I don't believe in it. I don't think it's going to work. And let's talk about what influences my opinion. I made 2020, I made three million dollars in one year. Not nobody in the crypto space other than the whales, the people who have like billions of dollars worth of crypto. The that's only like 10 percent of the crypto space. 10% of crypto holders own 90% of cryptos. And other than those guys, like the rank and file investor in crypto, you cannot even come close to what I did in 2020. So from a apples to apples comparison, I made more money faster than you did in your crypto in investments. And one of the reasons that you can't make that much money in investment in crypto investments is you don't have that much money to begin with. That is another fundamental flaw with crypto. You got to have money to invest in the crypto or you cannot make money and you got to hold it and wait to appreciate it. And there's all these projects like auto cake, pancake, surf, all these felonious uh, concepts and money schemes. Auto cake, it was paying like a 92% APR and it literally collapsed because it wasn't un it wasn't sustain it wasn't sustainable. And one of the things you have with crypto is like you can stake crypto, which is making getting dividends or or, or returns from um, it happened. Um, you get these. Um, things with crypto where you can invest in a stake and then you get a percentage of return. But here's the thing, you need to have money. This is one of the fundamental flaws that I consistently see with the crypto space. Uh, I continually see that. I continue to see um, people come up with all of these rationales or come up with all of these concepts and ideals that are not based upon firm and appropriate financial principles. Most of crypto, here's my opinion. Most of crypto is built on a beach. It's not built on cement. It's not built on steel. It's not built on concrete. It is built on a beach. And as long as the tide doesn't come in, the crypto is fine. But once the tide comes in, the crypto gets wiped out. The crypto gets trashed. The crypto is, for lack of a better word, fucked up. And there are so many people. And once again, this is, this is one of the things that informs my opinion about crypto. I have made a lot of money without crypto. So for me, I'm not some guy in the basement, Dogecoin, Dogecoin, investing all this to become a Dogecoin millionaire and still living like a bum. Um, I've made a lot of money from business. So this informs and it directs my opinion because when the majority of crypto collapses, and it will, I'm gonna still be making money while you're losing money. I was recently watching an episode of My First Million with Sam Parr and this other guy, Sean Puri, I believe. 
and Sean Peary has lost $250,000 in Luna and his stock market portfolio is down. And he's kind of freaking out a little bit because here's the thing. I know y'all hate me talking about start a business. Many of the weak, moist men are like, well, what's gonna happen when your business collapse? Let me tell you something, player. I've been doing this for 23 years. I have made six to seven figures per year for the last 23 years. Oh, uh, that's called a track record. And well, it's gonna continue. So here's the thing. When you build your business properly, it will not collapse. Evidence 2019, when I had a heart attack, my business didn't collapse. I did not even have to touch my savings when I was in the hospital in those five months that I didn't work because my business kept bringing money in. I didn't have to touch my savings. So that is proof positive of my thesis that my business ain't gonna collapse. I had a heart attack, was in the hospital for four weeks, didn't work for five months, and my business kept making me money. So all of you little weak, jealous, you just jealous, you are just jealous because here's the thing. I'm a child of the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, and the 90s. And one of the things that we understood, there were people who were better. And I saw it on the last time. I'm gonna say it, I'm better than you. You don't know why I'm better than you? Cause I put in the fucking work. See, you're sitting at home doing absolutely fucking nothing. And then you expect to be in the same position as someone who devotes 90% of his time to producing income producing concepts. I know I got two TVs. Some days my TVs don't even come on because I'm, I'm focused and I'm busy. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand, like this crypto stuff, um, you, you, you see it for most people, there are a certain group of programmers and tech people who are in crypto because of the promise of the technology. I do believe in the future, we will have a form of government of cryptocurrency, but I guarantee you it's going to be government backed cryptocurrency. Because one of the big problems with cryptocurrency, as I see it today, is anyone can come up with a cryptocurrency. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and create a cryptocurrency based upon the Bitcoin platform, do some little tweaks and start mining it and making my own cryptocurrency. That's like moonshine. When they were making moonshines in the mountains of Tennessee, he had a steal, she had a steal, they had a steal. So the price of moonshine dropped. See, that, that, that's the problem. Anybody can create a cryptocurrency. That is problematic. And this is one of the reasons that I see, like number one, and this is really good investment advice. Never invest in anything that you fully do not understand. And like, I have a somewhat fuzzy concept of cryptocurrency. I think it's just a big money grab. And I think it's just for a bunch of broke ass losers who are looking to come up, AKA, I'm a Dogecoin millionaire. Dogecoin was created as a fucking joke. It was a joke. It, there is no underlying user uh, fun functionality. And it was a joke. And it got hyped up. Elon Musk. Elon Musk is the greatest rug puller of our time. He pulled on, on Tesla shareholders. Elon Musk sold like $20 billion worth of Tesla stock when it was at an all time high because he knew it was going to drop. He's like, let me get that money now. I think he's got to pay something like $9 billion in taxes. So once again, 99% uh, of crypto is going to collapse. And if you want to put yourself in the position to be a person who has some money, you need to start a business. And I'm about to refute all of these weak bitch ass claims. Well, everyone can't run a business. Really? Everyone can take a shit. Everyone needs to breathe. Everyone needs to eat. There are common things that everyone does. And if you had the right training, the right mindset, you could start a small business and improve your financial life dramatically. But here's the problem. Everyone is trying to escape work. Everyone is trying to retire early. Everyone is trying to be a bum laying up on the beach with passive income coming in. And most of the people who use the term passive income are using it incorrectly. Most of the schemes they put up, 
Renting cars on Toro or hire a car is not passive income. Uh, renting a house. I have, I, have, I have a few friends who have rental properties. I have one friend that has 15 properties and every month it's a full-time job. So it is not passive income. She does about $220,000 uh, in income because she's had these properties for a while, but it ain't passive. She's always doing stuff. She's always fixing stuff. You know, she's got a separate phone for a business. I have another friend who has a much bigger portfolio and he has a team now he's got a property manager he has a maintenance guy and one of the things he does with all of his properties is he cuts the grass and he has people eyeballing his properties all the time so if there's a problem he will know immediately so he has established a team they have an office and you know he goes in the office maybe once or twice a week so for him it is very close to passive income because he has built a team but when he was building this business he said it wasn't none it wasn't even close to passive i think he has like 80 houses and one of the things he did that i felt was really smart he bought all 80 houses within they, these 80 houses are within you know miles of each other literally it is like he, he there's one neighborhood he has 20 houses in this one neighborhood so he can eyeball his property it's local he doesn't have to worry about it and he makes a lot of money but he has built a system in a team and he had to work really hard in the beginning and one of the things that he said is when he got to the position where he could get away from loans he's in the position that he has enough cash flow that he can buy additional rental properties without getting a mortgage that is huge that is huge, that is huge. But so many of you clowns are on this crypto stuff because you don't wanna work. And this is one of the things I have seen with the FIRE movement, financial independence, retire early. I have seen, like what I have seen with the FIRE movement, none of that stuff impresses me because once again, I have been exposed to real money. And I'm gonna be talking about the most money I've ever made in one month was $350,000. And I had a period where I was doing 300, 250 to $300,000 for many, many months in a row. So I have seen real life changing money. And I had enough money to go to the Porsche dealerships. Like I want that one, here's a cashier's check. And I rolled out without financing it. So for me, my opinions are formed, I'm informed by my experiences. And I have made more money from business than you have made from your fucking crypto, you dumbass. And then I get you in the comments. Well, you know, you you you, you make more money if you didn't invest. I, I, like one of the things I've learned, I don't listen to broke people. I don't listen to broke people. I think that is stupid to listen to broke people. I do not spend any time paying attention to someone who doesn't have a business, who ain't making money, and who is um not really doing the things that a person should be doing and one of the things that i see with people and th this this is seen in the fire movement i see it in the crypto movement i see young people who have never done shit never built shit wanting to retire at 30 so they can sit around and do nothing and one of the things and this is something that every real entrepreneur not the fake ass anton daniels of the world but real every uh real entrepreneur at one point was a dope ass follower typically what i have seen is entrepreneurs who had jobs were the best employee and this is one of the tropes you see it's like i was a bad employee i got fired uh i looked i can I, I polled my friends all of my successful friends all of my millionaire friends were extremely good employees. So at some point, they were dope ass followers before they became dope ass leaders. And this trope that young people or people who couldn't hold the job all of a sudden, they become rich. Uh, here and there you'll have one person, but on average, the person who has become a successful entrepreneur, who has become a successful uh, leader at one point was an extremely good, diligent, and dedicated employee. You wanna know why? Because those skill sets transfer to business ownership. You cannot be a bum. Like one of the reasons these people get fired is they have poor work ethic, they can't take directions, they fuck up 
in what they're supposed to do, and all of a sudden you're supposed to become a successful business owner being a fucked up employee. I don't, I don't buy that shit. I was a dope ass employee. I was a very good employee. I came to work. I never like took these extended breaks. I was real diligent, and that was a habit that I formed when I was working for my employer that translated to when I began working for me. So all of these tropes and memes of, yeah, you know, I'm a rebel. I got a tattoo on my neck. Like Adam 2022, Adam 22. The only reason he's making money is because he's in porn. If Adam had to run a traditional business, I don't think he could do it. I don't think he'd do it because of who he is and what he likes to do. I, I don't think he can do it. So one of the things that you guys have got to understand is there is no free lunch. There is no free lunch. There is no uh, get out of jail prizes. You know, and I got people, you know, this is one of the things. I got people bugging me about these cars. So uh, one of the things, and this is one of the things, I got probably 12 cars left, and that's about $120,000 that I can get once I sell them. And one of the things is I get these people, and I'm a very bad car seller because I need to, I try to sell these cars Monday through Friday because everybody wants to come in on the weekends when I'm working. Like, you know, tomorrow I'm taking tomorrow off and you know, you know, this guy just sent me, he's like, you want to sell a car now? And I'm like, uh, dude, I'm working today. Uh, I will like, you can see the car next week and at probably Tuesday or something like that. Because one of the things, you know, you know why I can have this attitude? Because I have money in the bank. I'm not broke. I don't have to sit and hope and wish that I can invest in a digital currency and it's gonna go to the moon and I can get money and I can live my life because I'm already living the life that I want to live and I get most of you crypto fools always well you know everyone gets dirty business bullshit everyone can fuck everyone can eat everyone's cart like I feel that the average person with the right level of training and guidance can start a business and make $250,000 a year. I feel this is within the capacity of the average person. But once again, the average person needs to have the right mindset. Once again, many people are out here uh, pussyfooting, bullshitting, and playing around while the great global reset is on and popping and many of these people are making very poor decisions today that are going to have some very dire ramifications 10 years in the future. So, like I said, go ahead and buy crypto, go ahead and buy on the dip, and I guarantee you, at some point in the future, you're going to regret it. Because, once again, Bitcoin isn't supposed to be tied to the stock market. But Bitcoin is very much tied to the stock market. And the stock market, in my estimation, is going to be down not just for a few months. We're gonna have the longest period that the stock market has been down since the Great Depression. We're already there and it's gonna keep happening. And what I am seeing is real smart money, they're pulling back and they're like, they're putting their money in treasury and T-bills and stuff because they know that what's going on, hey, it's not going to disappear quickly because one of the things that happened is once that stimulus money left the economy, it was, it, it was, you know, we're, we're living in a real naked economy and people are looking for crypto, they're trying to invest. And one of the things, please, 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 stop trying to do shit with no money. I consistently see how to start a business with no money, how to invest in real estate with no money. You people are never going to get ahead because you're trying to do it from the wrong position. Need to go ahead Get your long-term emergency fund, get your short-term emergency fund, get your family operating account, and then build a war chest so you can actually do something versus doing shit on fumes. I mean, I, I'm just sitting there like, I keep seeing all this stuff. Like uh, the number of people is like, come on YouTube, hey, I'm gonna try to make a million dollars from scratch. And they always fail because they don't understand what they don't know. They don't know what they don't know. And I'm like, 
this shit ain't gonna work. I'm just sitting there eating my popcorn, laughing my ass off, because I'm like, clown, you know how hard it is to build a million dollar business as a single person business? It's very, very hard. You know, you get to a million dollar business, you know, except if you're me. Once again, I'm bragging. I can make a million dollars by my damn self. And the best year that I had, I did have an employee, one organic employee and several digital employees. So once again, folks, most crypto is going to crash. It's going to go to zero. And if you keep investing your money in crypto, I feel that you're going to live to regret it.